Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at New Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use ME Reentry to create dynamic multi box effects. So, here on Mix Effects 1, I've loaded our four layer default effect. I'm using DDR1 to provide the looping background, and then I'm bringing in three inputs, scaling and positioning them to create the triple box effect you see here. One of the nice things about our ME system is that we support loading and saving presets. So what I did after creating this effect is I used the preset system to save this preset and then I exported it for use in another ME. So over here in ME3, I actually imported that preset that I created on ME1 and then I multi-delegated my joystick on my control surface to control the scale and location of the inputs and I simply drag them all down to be this effect you're now seeing on ME3. So now on ME3 we actually have seven layers of video on screen at once. We have the three inputs we're using in ME3 along with the re-entered ME1. This allows us to create some interesting multi-box effects. You can also additionally add a border on every single one of these boxes if you wanted to. And then you still have four more keyers on top of this composited image. Now we can use our comp system to create some very dynamic content with these effects. We can open our comp panel here. You can see that I've created a comp to save the main effect with all seven layers of video on screen at once. And then I've also created presets where I've zoomed in to each of the boxes, which you can see here. And you can go from any one of these presets to any other preset. One of the amazing features built into the ME reentry system in New Tech Live Production Systems is when you're doing reentry and you're zooming into individual video sources, we actually go back to the original source input and use that for any processing so you're not losing any resolution. Another feature of the ME reentry system in your New Tech Live Production System is that it adds zero additional latency. I hope this tutorial video has been helpful and that you will use it in your future productions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.